This shouldn't change if I go into here. This shouldn't change if I... Yeah, okay. I mm -hmm. can hear myself twice. It's good. It's work. Mm. No ping, man. Yeah. Ping in 1,100 people. There we go. Crazy. <laughs> can stop this then. No, people are going to complain. Oh no, we got pinged. Oh no. Wow. You want me to? <laughs> I can make some jokes. No, it's fine. Nah, it is fine. Oh, you want to talk too, Toad? Uh, uh, oh my yeah. god. That was there. <laughs> what Normie has to say. Yes, of course. Actually, no, since you're here, we will ask you some questions since you are the mini series participant. Uh, I mean, I have my uh, 3v2 scrims to attend to right now. Right, man. Like, I'm playing with Antonio and stuff. Yeah, you're. I get it. Yeah. I got stuff to do and shit, you know. Did someone ban outside emotes? Maybe in that channel? I've been neutered. Uh. Oh, set title. Is that how it works? Oh. Set title. That's one T too many. Perhaps we have victory. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it? Um... Why would it? All right, let's just start then. All right, go ahead. All right, welcome everyone. New Dojo session. We're going to talk about the Dominion series. That one's going to start next week, right? Next well, Saturday. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's next Saturday. Yeah. yeah. That's the first qualifier. I'm going to talk about what the meta is now, what did change, did some characters fall out, did new ones come in? We all know reworks happened. Then we're going to talk about strategy, did something change? Can we expect some changes throughout the series, like all the four qualifiers? Will we maybe have a patch? Who knows? We can speculate, though. Then we're going to talk about the uh, probably favorites for each season, uh, each region, sorry. We're going to have Normie for EU here, and we have Rippy for NA. We also have Toad and Blitz here, so oh. we're going to include those two. So we're just going to throw out the names because then they feel obliged to respond. Yes. <laughs> so let's hope that works. But yeah, if you guys have questions in the chat, just send them our way. We try and answer them. Yeah. All right, then let's start. New meta, we have two reworks. And both reworks seem to have found their place. It's one Raider, and the one's Orochi. Yeah, yeah Take it away, um, with Raider, instantly that's, yeah, that's, best, uh, Raider, sure. <laughs> best hero in the game. Uh, no question about it. Actually, I mean, some people say that he's still slightly worse than uh, Shug. Um, subjective, I guess. But I do think that Shug is uh, more value as a character than Raider. Uh, even if they might not be on the same level. You can't compare them really. They're two very different characters, but you can get a lot more a lot more value off of um Shigoki. With, About uh, Shigoki. Yeah. Uh we have like one bug after the other is being fixed right now. We've had the, the guaranteed headbutt off the forward dodge one, off the forward dodge heavy. We got that one fixed. Now the GB vulnerability of the side dodge headbutt has been fixed. 
So we have two more, right? We have Hog not feeding revenge on Whiff, and we have the target swap combo heavy having this whatever the fuck kind of hitbox. Yeah, the crazy. After the animation. two are being fixed, would you say Raider takes the cake then? Yes. Or will Shugo even fall out? Is he being oh. propped up by these two bugs, or is the rest of his kit? Is that enough? Well, to keep him... definitely most likely going to be like considered better than Shigoki, but Shigoki's still going to be just as strong as he is. Like, he's still going to have those insane damage with his unblockable finishers, and his headbutt is still a very good dodge attack, even with the one arm as GB boner will be added to him. Yeah, I mean, um. The only thing that the so where we said the first bug was uh the confirm headbutt mm -hmm. that actually was a pretty big nerf because it was sort of a guaranteed gank uh with as long as they blocked the heavy or even got hit by it it was you were ready to input the heavy so it was a guaranteed heavy from any character into what could be a lot more damage uh what me and uh clutch used to do were was he'd do his heavy I was playing glad I'd heavy on his headbutt and then faint to confirm his unblockable, which is like, uh, headbutt is 10. The chip damage from the first heavy is like five plus my 23 plus his 36, I think. Finish your top heavy from Shiganchi? Uh, 38. For 38, top right. Heavy. Well, a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now that he's not able to do that, that gang doesn't exist anymore. Obviously it still works if they get hit, but, uh, it's just not guaranteed. Um, it also removes a lot of pressure in team fights. In a team fight, say a beginning three v three or something big team fight that happens, uh, every game, it was really good pressure on somebody because you're not always gonna have the shogun key in your field of view. Uh, you might just be staggered, not be able to parry it, and it's you know very big chances you of you uh, eating like 50 damage so that's gone um it's yeah, it was really also possible to, it was also possible to gb for that dodge heavy oh yes yes Th there, there would be damage reduct but the 10 damage of the headbutt would still confirm the heavy afterward and that would still be massive damage just from a single gb would feed quite a lot of revenge as well but for how fast you can um deal a lot of damage to the enemy that was really worth going for as well yeah the final side. and um now it's really just a, a chase tool only um oh, catch mostly a lot of uh matchups changed not not huge changes like oh uh for example shigonki world word is unwinnable for world word it's not like it's even now or something but um Shugoki can no longer abuse the headbutt with no garbage vulnerability, which was the other bug. Um, it's actually pretty big as well. Uh, it's what, like, they made it from 0 MS to 100, right? Yeah, yeah. I believe that's what it is. That seems like nothing, but it works. Uh, if you probably saw if you had a soft faint to guard break, say a Raider heavy soft faint to guard break on the Shugoki, and it looked like the guard break hit, you got the confirm animation and then the headbutt came and now yeah that was i guess the bug but yeah that doesn't work anymore you just get the guard break it's already been very easy to deal with them in a team fight now well not very easy but easier uh without uh having to predict the headbutt and faint your heavy into a dodge attack or some or pre-dodge the headbutt and then parry the heavy or garbage the headbutt it's like seven reads in one um, so that's already two huge nerfs to his team fight. Assuming the animation slash hitbox of the finisher heavy nerf is coming, or not nerf but fix. Yeah. Um, that's also another very big hit to team fighting. And what was the last one? It's uh, a hog feeding oh. zero revenge and miss. So basically, you would be able to throw any hog you any hog you want at that and. Every time we whiff, it would not give attack or feed any revenge. I see. So yeah, missing well. a gank, you would not get punished. Yeah, yeah, ganking is gonna be a definitely. A, you have to be a bit more careful. It's not like now, for example, if you are ganking somebody. Uh, this this happens in every game and every scrim, I've been a part of where, if you have the time, say two enemies are dead and you're ganking, 
uh, somebody and Shugoki and you're ganking somebody, Shugoki can just spam hug and eventually one of them's gonna hit and uh, yeah. they don't ever get benched. So yeah, that's gonna get fixed. Um, do we know anything about hug off of Demon Ball or Demon Ball in general? Um, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think any any fix is planned for now, but it's definitely one of the things that makes Shigoki super strong. Especially yeah. with walls around, you can hit so much damage from it. It's really old info that I have about Demon Ball, like 15 months older. So I don't, I don't, I'm not sure when uh-huh. I read it. Right, 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 right. But yeah. It, it's, they're not touching it as far as I know because in general they don't like when something is locked in an animation and then it gets interrupted. And for example, like the guy mid Demon Ball gets interrupted. And get, he needs a stand, up, yeah. standing up animation. And if that looks shit, it's just I mean, people are going to complain about that because gameplay wise, obviously it would be much better if that thing didn't have height, um, a super armor. But if it looks like shit, people might still complain. So I mean, to be honest, it's I think kind uh, of balance. I think they should just make it a normal heavy. It would be a a bigger nerf than a buff, but it will also have some benefits. Uh, so you'd remove it straight up. Yeah, I'd completely Demon remove it. I'd completely okay. get rid of Demon Ball. Just make it heavy. I'll confirm heavy. Um, thing is. While obviously removing Demon Ball is big nerf because funny one guard break win the team fight. Um, at the same time, it's sort of a reset. Like you Demon Ball somebody, say in a one v one situation, you might get your hug. You, if you don't, then it's a reset. Uh, you just go back to neutral. If you if it was just a heavy of a guard break, you could keep your offense going. Uh, with you go key offense is sort of uh, in bursts. You get in. Like 50 damage off of a light head, but heavy faint demon ball, and then you go back to neutral, start again. Maybe with a heavy off guard break, it'd uh, be a bit more uh, fast flow. I don't even know how to say, but you get it. Right. So yeah, I uh, I think they should just remove that shit. It's stupid. <laughs> and uh, I I don't know. If you can get a heavy, I, I've got it many times, but I don't know if it was people trying to parry it or not. You get a heavy on the other wall. Yeah, if you demon ball into a wall and don't okay. switch your guard, I think you get a heavy. Yeah, yeah. It, it always it comes from on, the left. Yeah. Yeah, it, it works on um, assassins, on people that didn't already have their guard. And no, 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 no. On, the, on, on your own. I meant like the Shigoki. Yeah. Yeah, the Shigoki yeah. get a heavy. Oh, you mean it works on assassins? Yeah. Okay, so if they have their guard on that side, then they can block it. Yeah, um, yeah, basically. Uh-huh. Right. Because okay. yeah. if you, uh, after demon balling, your uh, your guard's always on the left, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. your heavy always comes from the left. And if the guy, the static guard one, had it on the right, the guard, basically in the correct one, then it's not guaranteed. Then you can go for the zone instead or the hug. Depending, it's always like a distance kind of thing. The, yeah, if you're a bit the zone is like right, slightly right. further than the hug, and the heavy needs to be like really close. But against assassins, you always can throw the heavy if you're close enough. Always guaranteed, yeah. Also, if you're a bit too far for everything, the, the headbutt's going to reach for 10 damage. Yeah, so it's right now, blood, but it's still guaranteed. off of a demon ball, you can get a 30 damage health swing, I think it is. It's 10 heal uh, now, right? Yeah, hug is 20 damage plus 10 health. Yeah, so that's a 30 damage health swing. Uh, you can get just 24 damage with the heavy and mm-hmm. right into your offense mm-hmm. or you can get the headbutt which puts you in frame advantage because it's perfect timing to stagger them like excuse me but yeah. what <laughs> <laughs> so uh hope i think that's a bigger problem than any of the bugs they fix or are yet to fix so far so i don't know um i mean would be a more significant nerf than even when fixing the the hitbox of the combo because that is i think the one that really makes sugar shine at the moment yeah, yeah, yeah you can never be sure is that thing gonna hit me is he gonna do it correct most people will do it correctly but it hits so unexpected sometimes yeah or maybe mean, you guys have seen it a thousand times already it's it's maybe yeah, not i'll get that clip anymore for you guys i get that clip i, sh- I showed you please actually i think it's it'd be good to show a demonstration uh, the D69 clip. 
if I can find it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Tweeted it, didn't he? Did he? I thought he did. Oh, uh, my clip tweeted by D69. She. Uh, wait. How do I not leak everything? Probably don't. Just need to open it in the browser, I guess. Yeah. Let me close everything else. Um, but we kind of got away from radar right on the last no nah, it's fine it's fine stuck with him. <laughs> it is fine it is fine yeah. right uh, i mean that uh, when the raider reward came out was the the debate is he stronger than uh than shugo is he not you can see right yeah yeah all right Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's it in action. Yeah. I kind of want to watch it again. <laughs> I love Pace's face. <laughs> like, proper annoying. Yeah, I mean, look at me there. That's me, anti ganking. Uh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, no, me is the. I'm the Shugonchi. Who the fuck is that idiot? And then his face. This scheme is fucking impactful. Yeah. I mean, it is completely. Ass fucking thing again. The fact that it can happen by accident by every random in in game, it can, it just makes the game look bad, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it look terrible, actually. But um, it's it's actually two bugs in one. It's uh, an animation bug as a, along with a uh, hitbox bug. So we have a wombo combo bug. Uh, I don't even know. I guess the hitbox is the bigger problem. Uh, in... Say so, yeah. I mean, the hitbox is lingering, right? Yeah. You basically attack both people at the same time. Yeah. I mean, Which in... Say, attack can work um, if you, let's say, do it on the wrong side. Or if the guy is exactly behind you, it might work. So it's not like all around the guy. But if you do it always on the side of the second guy you're attacking, it's always going to hit both people. So it makes any peel attempt super difficult to win. Because you're never going to be able to um, attack without being attacked yourself, unless you have a bash or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and one of the slides is also unparable, so it leaves only crushing counter, dodge attack, stuff like that to beat it. Before we uh, go back to Raider, because we, like Free said, we straight kind of far. Um, at the highest level in comp, people kind of learned and started to walk or, uh, work around the heavy. Um, it's kind of easy to see it coming uh, for those people. So it's a, it's a pretty easy parry, but it's still not any like, it's not normal. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but back to Raider, uh, we were saying... Yeah, he snuck up. Yeah, he really Out did. Out of nowhere. Because, I mean, when... I don't know how much you guys played the... The first iteration of the, the, the like the proper testing ground one we got to see because that one was shit, and then all of a sudden this one comes around this version of Raider and here we are. Oh yeah, the testing ground one was um, they completely destroyed his hyper armor. It was basically not even there, and uh, just made his stunning tap uh, fast again and gave him some extra chains. But I mean that made them. What most people said is that if they went through with that, it would be a crazy good onesies character. So it would be crazy good in one view on. Yep. But he'd be trash in force because no hyper armor. I and feel well, okay. I feel it loud. definitely does kind of make the uh it definitely does kind of point that perspective about like, you know, does it really make a difference about having a uh, a duelist specialist in a four v four game? You know, because now we look at Raider, who has all the benefits of a 1v1 character, but has a lot of applications in 4v4. I mean, it's like, there used to be a meta a long time ago with uh, having a 1v1 character in 4v4, uh, which was Warden, leave Warden on a point. But we're not going to get into that because that's far from today's topic. But it's like, people don't look at it. Like, mid-characters uh, mid were a thing. Lowbringer can say back when body count was good that went now sort of every hero is just 
just a hero and they don't serve a bigger role than maybe a ganker uh or you know that's really it. a big team fight meta and if you're gonna pick a character only for the one v one you're probably better to take someone that might be slightly worse than one v one but that can actually team find the other stuff because you don't want to have someone that's gonna lose every team fight just because he's a one v one character like it just doesn't work in the current version of the game all right so raider uh overall right now best uh not well best or second best hero in the game um uh crazy the best 1v1 hero the second best 4v4 hero in 2v2s he's uh definitely near the top but not the best doesn't really compare to jj and zan who raiders uh, considered uh wait raiders considered to be the best 1v1 hero right yes. now currently yeah oh uh I'm hoping I I like to see an analysis video on that if you don't mind or even a page you know like I'm not saying I don't believe you I really just love to see the analysis of oh. the different characters. I mean the, it's um one. it's a combination of first of all his offense being completely unreactable, uh, yeah. having almost no stamp cost on anything, and also matchups. Uh, nowadays anybody who can punish a bash has a big plus in every matchup so a uh, dodge attack in raider's case stun tap dodge tap um his damage output is crazy uh three mix-ups and you're dead uh fun... even if they did nerf i'm guessing even if they did end up nerfing some of his zone damage and some of his heavy damage i feel it'll still be uh an s tier contender in 1v1 i mean I yeah no definitely i mean to I mean, there's a lot of stuff you need to do to actually not make him the best one gen hero, but um, yeah, he has good matchups against almost everyone. Uh, there are a bit rougher matchups, like for example, Raider Arrow is a bit rough for Raider. I wouldn't say it's crazy favorite to any side, but it's definitely but not... But uh, harder for him. Yeah, it's just harder because uh, Dodge Attack is a crazy good... Uh, option select against Raider because no guard break vulnerability. Also, you can hit into his Hyper Armor then all guard follow up, which is uh, huge. What about Black Prior? I do think that he also benefits from that too, right? Uh, benefits from what? Hitting into Hyper Armor uh, and flipping? No. Uh, BP right now is trash. I'm not talking Come George. On, trash. No, 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 for real, for real. Let me, let me have my argument. <laughs> Um, I'm not talking George trash. I'm not talking. Uh, no, no, of course, of course, of course. What's another course. trash hero? I don't even know. Like Kong trash, but he is, for example, uh, what Kyoshin is better than BP and Force. Uh, Nobu is better than BP and Force. Kensei is better. Uh, there's a lot of characters who are better. There's a lot of reasons why but like it's kind of like every the meta changed from uh what was it before what was it before the team fight meta was it like some gank meta right yeah yeah, I mean, it yeah. until the gladiator that was the big thing yeah well bp had really good ganks one shot ganks with both of them um and he was a he was a solid one one hero he was solid in uh team fights and back then defensive feats were the play so umbro uh his tier one don't know what the name of that is uh his healing Finish tier two uh, whatever man maybe yep. <laughs> uh and he also had so he had two insane uh defensive feats which were tier one and tier four he had one good like sort of all-rounder feat with tier two where you could get a little bit of healing of maybe a bar mid fight and then you had one super crutch feet with uh, Oathbreaker where you could fuck up a gank terribly, feed Venge uh, and uh, save it with Oathbreaker. This is also back in a time where one gank is all you needed. So if you gave Venge once, you fucked up. Uh, yeah, no, no, you're right about that. You're right. You're right, actually, because he was basically the ace in the hole in the event that, you know, one of your team, you know, just had an off time with uh, a gang set up and they fed revenge you know the the the, the oathbreaker was just that just in, you know break just in case so right now 
meta changed. Uh, you can see the current heroes. We have the, the 4v4 best comp right now is... Uh, uh, Shigoki, I'm, Shigoki, Genji. You don't need to Jungu. tell me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shigoki, I'm so sorry. Raider, uh, Jar Jar slash uh, thing, Zanhu, and Orochi, which you can see that they all have, well, maybe, except for Shigoki, has a bit worse, but they all have big, big uh, range. Uh, they all have good chase. They all have uh, very big hitboxes and are hard to deal with, sort of. I, I, it's a bit hard to explain, but I mean, then you look at BP, and he has zero chase. Uh, in comp at the moment, almost everyone can react to his bash because it's the slow, not the slowest one, but it's the easiest one to react to. Um, yeah, telegraph. Oh, it's his, the most orange as well. Yeah, it's the most orange as well. Uh, and this also changed. We changed from defensive feet meta to offensive feet. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, go on. You can see, so right now, tier four, tier fours are uh, staggering blow on Shug, uh, fear or nail bomb on uh, Oro. Uh, if you're running Jar Jar, you have uh, Phalanx, that's the one defensive feat, and then you have Raider with Fury Flask. That's three offensive, one defensive, or uh, for example, in the TG tournament, what we ran was uh, instead of... Uh, JJ, we ran a Kyoshin with his tier 4, which is also offensive tier 4. So we had four offensive tier 4s, and they're better now because ganking's harder, no OSs. Um, defending yourself Wait, in general is harder. Come... I'll you talk about that as well. Come... Okay, I guess we could talk. Okay, so that'll be a different topic. Let the man talk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let Nomi talk. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. so no, it's right. no, 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 it's okay. I, stuff I like it shifted. Can. Um in like every part of the game and bp just fell out you have yeah. some uh <clears throat> lunatics still thinking bp is good legion 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 i um i, I still can't believe we are actually living in a time where B, you know black prior fell out but yeah i, guess, I mean you know... he's still a mediocre character he's usable he's not it's not like the worst character in the game you're not playing uh, so course, George in 4v4 uh, he still has good feats even though they're not what you're looking for he... it's a good character just not in the current meta of 4v4 competitive um, yeah so then we have what were we we were going uh, oh yeah uh, so characters with dodge attacks are good now very good another reason why BP and Warlord aren't in the meta anymore yeah like they just eat too much damage for trying to put out offense. Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of went away from Raider again, but yeah, I, I, do, I, I do apologize for that. But I guess what I wanted to say was that since you mentioned before, I guess this kind of goes back into Raider. You know, with Raider helped yeah. kind of solidify the new team fight meta. So that kind of make me wonder: uh, Do you feel it would be you know to kind of help characters become more you know viable in four v four play? Um, and I look at characters like Warden, right, whose moveset probably fits more for, like, you know, the 1v1 aspect, but can still, you know, kind of clear minions pretty decently. Not as well as Raider, obviously, but still pretty decently. It does make me wonder, do you think that we should, should the developers look into, you know, uh, updating the movesets for 4v4? Or do you think this is just a case of updating the feats for 4v4? So between moveset and Well, feats. I mean, that's two very different things, uh... I do somehow think that feats, a lot of, most feats need a rework on how they work, what they do, because we still have Agreed. stuff like Staggering Blow around, uh, or stuff like, are there still feats that don't work? Does take them work? work now, right? <laughs> I mean, we don't know how Smoke Bomb works, but it does work. Oh, yeah. Well, but we don't have, like, feats where we okay. say, oh, that one is straight up broken. It's so, not working, as the description tells us. I think first we need to nerf the stupid feats, smoke bomb, staggering blow. Uh, well, there's others, but those are the the main ones. Um, and then we can worry about other feats. As for move sets, uh, current meta. If we're talking about that, we'd have you take a character, any character you want, and you think first, how good is that character's team fight? You said warden. 
Warden's team fight is um, yeah, not great. Average. Yeah, he got some hitbox improvements. He got unblockables uh, with hitboxes now, and his his shoulder bash can sometimes do something in a team fight. It's sort of like a long range bash. So, but it's not JJ. It's not Zanhu. It's not Raider. It's not Shigoki. So uh, and one v oneing won't do you any good really um, in a team fighting meta where the first thought is go help your teammate and a team fight create a team fight um so that's why for example warden isn't uh even something to think about um so uh let me wrap up with raider <laughs> that's the thing we keep going away let's that, that stick with it yeah you know now. what it's okay you know what? i'll just hold my questions off for probably another yeah day. yeah we'll... I, i'm just a i'm i again i will apologize to everyone in this room who was just trying to like learn what was the actual topic it's just that it was on the topic and i was just genuinely curious so i mean we'll, okay. we'll answer questions uh, further and we just need to get the main stuff out of the way first so okay. uh, i think we went so go on go on uh, go on with whatever your topic was so currently only characters that kind of deal with raider are ara and orochi i'd say uh and shigoki kind of not too much, but Shigoki. Um, Egg said earlier that he still thinks Shigoki versus Raider matchup is Shug favored, even though mm. they changed. Uh, I mean, they added garbage vulnerability to head, but is what I think he was talking about. But yeah, I mean, I agree with him. Um, actually, wait, Raider Shigoki. Eh? I I disagree. I don't think so. I think Raider wins that. Why so? Well, mostly because of offense. He can't just dodge and react to GBs anymore and counter pretty much every option he has. He has to make reads, and I feel like a lot of his reads is going to be unfavored, especially since his unblockable is pretty easy flash berries or animation. I mean, you were talking... Like Raider just has a ton more. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to think about it, but like... Raider what's the, uh, Shigoki. I'm curious. What's the, what's the Raider and Hidakiri matchup? Uh, I mean, Hero's pretty shit. Raider. Pretty shit, yeah. Hero's pretty shit. Oh, okay. Even even if you're somebody who can't react to, because like there's only like a handful of people who can consistently react to hero variable timing heavies, but it's still not like because raider you technically have an option select with a dodge tap, so it's yeah raider wins that easy. Hero's not very good. Uh, on paper she's very good, but not in practice. And she was good when she well, had the variable dodge attack. Yeah, I mean when she had the. Actual usable dodge attack. Her current dodge attack is stuck at 300 yeah, ms yeah, into yeah, the I dodge. Think the current dodge attack is just very, what do you call it? Very dual. It's like very, yeah, it's very. No, it's shit in 1v1s. More, yeah. even more so than in 4v4. Because in 4v4, you can still target switch it, right? You can still unlock it to, you know, make it unparable. But in 1v1, it's so late into the dodge that you can't punish bashes. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah. No, I didn't really. Yeah, that explains it. It might explain why is it that when you know I have to guess a bash, I have to do it really early. Otherwise, no, I, I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. So uh, yeah, you're hero's right. not great. Um, let's move on. I we kind of talked about everything about Raider. Yeah, we talked how good he is. Uh, where he fits into the, the mic keeps opening up paper by the way. So. Where he fits into the meta. Uh, his feats. Uh, optimal feats right now are. Rush, Inspire... Okay, well, no, this is actually a weird topic because a lot of people, like Antonio, say Bear Trap is uh, the best tier 2 feat. Correct, Joel, Antonio? Yes. Okay, uh, I think Inspire is the best. And what's the other one? Fucking Mark, Mark for Death. Death, right. Mark for Death is like a lower... I mean, uh, um, it's sort of a low-risk, low-reward feat. What like, round do you get from that feat? Um, I don't actually, okay. know. yeah, I don't know how much you know. It's like, for example, with Bear Trap, uh, the reason I don't think Bear Trap is the best, like Antonio's argument is, go ahead and tell me. Basically, I tried Bear Trap a lot in scrims with Raider, and I noticed that like I get a uh, 100 roll on a player with one like full HP consistently. Like every time I place a Bear Trap, it, the one guy is gonna go into the Bear Trap, and with Raider, since I have like a insane mix-up with Zor, uh, like top having to Zor, which like uh, can basically blow up someone 
especially if he start if he starts with a like a HP disadvantage from the bear trap, like the the matchup becomes unplayable for the guy that got hit by by the bear trap, of course, and like this can save you from dying from a guy's rotation, like from like from someone's rotation, your one HP for example, and he's like fifty HP, he hits the bear trap and one top heavy, and he's basically that like that can save you from yeah, he can save your point, he can save your uh, team from rotating to help you, he can save a lot of stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm, that's. I'm, I'm surprised the the bear trap actually lands though. It doesn't feel like it's a. Uh... It's a. Uh, the reason, it's skill. like I, I agree with everything that you said. It's true that you can it can save you, uh, or it can like you can even change the outcome of a team fight. It's whatever. It can do a lot of things. The only reason, um, I don't personally find it better than Inspire, is that it can also just not do anything, and it's completely RNG technically because. What if they just don't walk in it, you know? Um, it, of course, it depends with placement. You can't put it in the ground anymore. You can't put it on any stair. You they can actually. It. I mean, you are, can. There, there are players, like, you can, you can still put it in minion bodies, I think. Yeah. You can put it in just dead bodies in general. Um, hollow uh, props. So, like, for example, rubble. I think you can still put it in rubble. Yeah, you can put it, uh, like, on top of stuff as well. Yeah, you, if you, like, like put it in the corner. Wheelbarrows or some shit. Yeah, so you can still. By the way, how long do you wait until you replace it? When do you say no? That placement is shit. No one's gonna run in there. Or uh, you're just gonna wait well, it up. That's another thing. Uh, I guess there's a skill ceiling to bear trap. <laughs> it's like, I mean, for example, look. I know if I run bear trap and you run bear trap, Antonio, you're gonna do much better with it just because I'm not used to playing with it. I don't even think when I put it down. Right? I haven't used yeah. that feat ever. Um, it's not like some crazy mind game of like, oh yes, I do. I did the maths. I know the, I calculate the trajectory of the enemy. He's gonna come walk in it and eat one hundred fifty damage. Um, it's high risk, high reward. You have inspire, which is a uh, medium risk, medium reward. Uh, I got the most out of it because uh, in the TG tournament, me, Clutch, Antonio, Tetsu, um, I helped clutch a lot with inspire because ganking is much faster um team fights are obviously you get a huge advantage what is it 25 20 percent i want to say that look it up right <laughs> yeah around there um uh, it's it's and you have a decently big area uh, of effect oh, with i got it. the numbers 20 seconds, 10 meter radius, 20% more damage. Yeah, 20% more damage. So that turns n a normal damage heavies into decently high damage. It's like a gank is going to make a gank a one shot gank. So, like a decent yeah. gank. So, uh, is, I don't, I like, like the same damage as Sympathy or True, Winner's Advantage or something. Yeah, something. Yeah, so. um, but yeah, basically, it's uh, pretty easy to use uh, with. Obviously, you can fuck it up. You can pop it and be isolated into a 1v1 or get ganked where you can't even use it because you're being ganked. If you press buttons, you're going to die. Um, and then you have Marked for Death, which I think is low risk, low reward, where obviously you put it on a player and they can't do anything about it. They can't. All they can do is run away, but then they leave you, uh, they leave their teammates outnumbered uh and you know so oh, that's wait. that's how i look at it at those three fits really i didn't even know that it gives 50 percent more renown yeah it does it and they take 20 percent more damage 25 percent 25 percent defense is lowered by 15 percent and it takes 25 percent more stamina uh-huh yeah so that's weird mix of stuff it stacks with buffing feats like jj's tier one and tier two yeah yeah but uh if anyone sees that many feet swaps, it'd be kind of crazy to not just try to run away or like spread out. Um, so yeah, that's for tier two. Uh, that's how I look at them. Uh, tier three is some stupid shit. Uh, the best feat is Fury. And for some reason, everybody and their mother runs Battle Cry. You can clear mid. Yeah, I mean, no, but thing, right? listen, listen, but you can yeah, clear and, mid. And it's map wide. It's you can obvious, clear yeah. mid and it's map wide. But you, do you know what? Like, it's fury is jug basically. It's I like, see Battlecry having more like clutch moments. 
when you need it. I thought you'd have me out here. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, how is Buttercup is supposed to be better than Fury? I don't know. Okay, you get a free mid lane clear. Okay, but you need to be near the mid lane to use it and like get full effect of it. Okay, right? Fury is basically you're on an enemy home point. You're like seventy five percent of HP or even fifty percent. You pop it. You get like how much uh, 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 defense like buff? Thirty five or something. I don't know. Yeah. You're basically unkillable because you're gonna. Yeah. I'll kill up for like uh, 15 seconds, something like that. It's uh, yeah, but also, like, I think, more, I think the morale booster yet. effect of Battlecry is just very good to have utility around the map, helps everybody out in your team, just more buffs. Uh, but and clear mid and utility, I think, I think Battlecry is the better feat, like overall. Yeah, but you're gonna get uh, you, you, you're not gonna like split being splitted from by your teammate if you're a Reuter. Like, I mean, let's Reuter is let's. Now. Let's take the the facts, the stuff that happened in the tournament. Everybody but me, which uh, was the raider of uh, my team, ran Battlecry. I was the only one that ran Fury. Okay, first, every raider that ran Fury, uh, they whatever they popped it, they did some damage. We were a team that can defend ourselves very well because you know mechanically good. It didn't do much. Meanwhile. So many times, I can't even count how many times I popped Fury on a point and stalled enough for my teammates to come and win the team fight. Not even stall it out, outright win the team fight. Because you pop it, okay? You stall. Your teammates come, you still have it popped. You do insane damage, just easy gank. That's what, like, top heavy is 30, no, 27. It turns into 30 something. Your zone goes from 38 to 50. It. It's basically two heavies, and you, they're dead. Uh, then you have, yeah, obviously Battle Cry Flask is also a thing, but Fury is more damage. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, you can't clear mid lane, but if that's... Oh, I also think mid lane is much more valuable on that meta as well because of how many points it gives. Yeah, but are you going to... How many times are you going to be next to the mid lane and clear it and get the full, like benefit out of battle cry where you clear mid and you also get use of it around the map if you're in a situation where you have to clear mid uh you're most likely at a points disadvantage or mid is the only point you can get and you're being kept on both points in which case you pop battle cry to clear mid and then what your battle cry runs out you can't push up if you push a point other team will just closing on you well, and I, I feel you like die at that anyways. point you can make a strategy with the team like go you uh two people go to one point one person goes to another point i'm gonna oh, to be too right. Every, everybody gets it <laughs> everybody gets strat. it yeah i mean if you're already trip capped you might as well send one person to one point and then you just clear mid real quick with battle cry and then you have a map wide morale booster for yeah but what if your teammate gets ganked yeah me while you're clearing the lane well you're not clearing lane you're just popping it once yeah you pop it up. once yeah but five seconds can mean a full gank yeah you your teammate get ganks and then they clear mid back and hey, then they have uh, two have points them stand, have them stand like one feet outside the point just don't let him gank so you don't go in there and then just wait just don't get so ganked. Wait, you sacrifice you sacrifice a point for mid you're not sacrificing a point like you're already trip capped like in, yeah okay. but you're sacrificing you sacrifice normally brought up where you're are where you're already trip capped you're, yeah, trip -capped. But you're sacrificing defender now and How even even in this leader? situation, even in that situation, the only re place and situation that I see Battlecry being better is in a scenario where an instant mid clear will unbreak you. That's all. Because yep. the, let's take the triple cap scenario. If you're triple capped, why are you using Battlecry to clear mid in the first place? You're not going to push any point. You might as well just clear it normally and keep your Battlecry for the actual team fight. But if you keep we it for the but if you keep right. it for the team fight, then you're not gonna get the use of oh it clears but, but mid. You're not just you're not just giving it to you, you're giving it to all your other teammates, the two teammates that are already team fighting, and you're about to give it to yourself, you're about to go into a two v two on one point. So okay. you are getting a lot of use out of it. In a team How much fight. is the cooldown on uh, Baltakrai compared to Fury? She don't know. Hundred twenty on Fury. On Battlecry is the same. So I, Two I minutes like on both. Yeah. When pushing a point, like you're, you're you're about to go stall somebody's point, you don't have a lot of time to clear mid a lot of the time because it takes a somewhat decent time. So like your teammate could be ganked. I feel like it's really nice to just clear mid and then just go to go to a point and stall it. So you're just getting getting points, especially in TG, how that worked out. 
you don't need to swim in a lot of time. You just go. Take I mean, from my experience, can, like from the games that I played, and like uh, I also played the radar a little bit while normally was playing Shug. I always, I also run Fury as well, and I have never had the moment where Fury was worse than Buttercry, or where Buttercry would have been useful. If you have your if you have your team working around properly and not doing legion rotations, you're never going to be in a situation where you need battle cry to do that perfect scenario that I just explained. Yeah, and plus you don't want to play on, around mid. You want to play around points because defender and own is a thing. What we're talking about, what we're talking about, especially in TG, like you I guys. I mean, then, then if you want to, you... a lot of use out of fury. So bringing up points about how mid lane is very important and how stalling points can be the difference between winning and losing and in that situation you can clear pretty much instantly and then you can push points over and over again so you're getting constant point generation and you don't have to spend time clearing mid you can be somewhere else on the map but you're clearing mid once it can be it doesn't do more than that your team enemy team can just clear it and yeah it's true you but you're already, st you're already stalling their point so like if with they, if what they are you stalling it with battle cry with you you just you just keep going in there all, all yeah, the time that's legion strats anyways um, I mean, let's, I don't know, know, let's, let's wrap, wrap, let's wrap that feed up. I mean, it's, I mean it's, it's, it's good yeah. that we have a, like both. There's an option because not often do we have options, right? It's always no, this feed is the best, and I think we're so used to that. Or you just need to pick this one. All the others are trash. So I think I, I, I personally like it that both sides here they defend their point. So yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I like cool. the, I like it, but the issue is. There, I mean, it's not like bear trap and like uh, moral boost where you have like actually good comparison where like bear trap can blow, blow someone up and moral boost can win a team fight. Uh, here is like you either go for a stall on a point and like survive for the 10 15 seconds that your teammate needs to actually rotate, or a fit that it's basically a moral boost but global. Like mean, that yeah. it doesn't sound with appealing another, to with me a, with another plus of like general, just general rotations as well. Like with the clearing mid thing. Yeah, but still, I don't, I don't, I don't find the point. All right, whatever. Um, tier three feet. <laughs> uh, we talked about that. Tier four is flask with no. I mean, I, I. There's no point in running uh, st uh st st standard stalwart. Friend, friend, friendship banner. Yeah. Friendship banner because, like I said, offensive I feats meta. Meta for so long now, right? Well, I haven't seen that one since Kensei has been picked. Yeah, I mean, it's just not the pick anymore. Um. So that's his feats. What 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 was Raiders? Oh yeah, it was Warlord before. Uh to be honest, I think Warlord still had better feats because he had Jug. Yeah, it was one feat that basically made him better. Yeah, he he had slightly better feats, but it's not a crazy difference. Um, let's talk about the other rework. Yeah, Orochiro. Um, probably, like what top. I mean, definitely top four here. Top three, I think he's third best, maybe, Dom Hero? Uh, yeah. I agree with yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that should be good. Um, very good stall. Uh, actually, very good anti-gank. It's, like, super easy to anti-gank with that hero. Um, good stall. Very good stall. Uh, good feats. Insane damage with a slip turn and whatnot. Uh, you have Nail Bomb, which is... 100-0, through. Which is yeah, hundred zero. It's like what bear trap, what Antonio said about bear trap, but no need of variables like having to mix up your opponent or whatever. Um, you have that. If not, you're running fear, which is you know easy team fight win, assuming you're not legion, of course. Um, maybe pops in one of you and it dies. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in one v one. Orochi huh? to somebody who can't react is like so hard to deal with. Uh, to be honest, if you can react, it's kind of easy. Um, it goes. It depends on the char, honestly. Yeah, it depends on the char. But like, for example, Raider is like. I find oh, yeah, it pretty. I know, that yeah, I don't like, want to play that ever. Yeah. I mean, I feel like every character with a static guard wins against Chiro, and every character with a reflex reflex guard has a really hard time dealing with Chiro because the dodge forward light into kick mix up. Yeah, like you can uh... dodge forward light, and it's really hard to differentiate between uh, the animation of the dodge forward light and the kick. So, I think Zerk has the only good matchup against the guy. So. Really, Zerk. Yeah. 
Uh, Kyoshin, I mean, has a, Kyoshin has I mean, a, probably almost even matchup as well. I mean, Kyoshin has static guard. I said reflex guard has a really hard time dealing with Chiro. What about PK? I think uh, PK has like... a super hard time dealing with Chiro yeah, because PK she doesn't have cancer recovery. Yeah. The issue with PK that would make her probably better than Chiro in 1v1 is the fact that she can't cancel recovery anything. Her recovery cancers are fucking trash. It should be better. Like a little bit, 100 MS faster or something because you can't. You can't do anything to a Rorochiro if uh, he dodge lights you out of you like, and you let the unblockable rip mm -hmm. or, the, or the dagger uh, blade or whatever the name is. Yeah, I mean, um, Chiro definitely got a huge, huge buff with the rework. Um, he actually has external pressure now, sort of, kind of. Well, not crazy external pressure, but better than what it was before. He's pretty annoying chooses though. Yeah, in Tuesdays he's very annoying. He's just a very annoying character in general. Only person who can counter Orochio is another Orochio. Or Simba. Maybe yeah. Simba. Simba's yeah. alright. Uh, I mean, yeah. Um, That's Jean who. I think... Uh, I guess here people don't know solipsisms. We're in yeah. different universe. Um, can I ask something about Fates? Yeah. Why is no one trying Kiai? Uh, because... I think it's, it's such a massively annoying feat. I mean, I, I understand, but what's body count now? But, uh, body count I personally, bounty hunter is, is massive, obviously. Yeah. But Kiai is such an annoying thing and has like no cooldown whatsoever. Do you want to know the problem with Kiai? Uh, it tags. Revenge? Yeah. Teammates, yeah. It tags. And you, you can also hit teammates with it, yeah. Yeah, sure. So uh, I personally wouldn't run it, even if it didn't hit my teammates, just because it tagged and it would fuck up a team fight in revenge. Um, yeah, and doesn't I mean I know it feeds like 60 70 or something like an insane amount of revenge yeah. it's completely disproportionate to to what it is because it does no damage or anything but I don't, I don't know is it just not worth it even in ones yeah uh, I mean uh, even in ones uh, people can deal with Orochi pretty well I mean it's not like he he doesn't have radar offense he has good offense and if you get like get into the the zone and you get it all going then yeah you can demolish somebody but as long as you can react to kick somewhat consistently, you and you have static guard, it's pretty easy to deal with that character. I mean, and, I feel like uh, Bounty is better anyway because yeah. he prevents you from rotating to heal. I mean, Bounty is better, but we're asking why isn't PKI pick, being picked? I mean, yeah, that's the reason. Bounty Hunter is there. So, um, yeah. yeah, that's it about KI. Uh, Tier 4 is personal preference. Tier 3 is slip through must. And I don't even know what other tier 3. Yes, bow and. And what? Yes, and... bow and sharpen blade. Most oh, yeah, sharpen blade. Sharpen blade. Yeah, just run slip through. Like, what, Makes... what, what's the badge damage with slip through? Isn't like 18 or some um... crazy shit? Oh, yeah, it's like 19 or yeah, 18. 19. Like 19. It's a lot of damage. You also, get... like stacking that with uh, fear is crazy. Yeah, you. Considering the character is based around dodge, yeah, like dodging attacks and, and dodge attacks, then yeah, character is kind of crazy with that feat. Um, probably his best feat, to be honest. Definitely more value than uh, his tier fours. So both of these characters got reworked. Both of them entered the meta, um, and are. Which ones any... will we see in every team? Uh, Raider, 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 Hondo. Just Raider? Yeah, you think people I mean, will like drop Shugo? Uh, oh, you mean out of every character? I, I thought you meant out of those Not of every element, yeah, yeah. But in general, if you were going to watch Dominion series, which characters can you expect pretty much in every team? Uh, that Shugo, Raider? Shugo, Raider, yeah. I mean, Chiro has been picked a lot. Yeah, Chiro has been you. picked a lot, but it's like, you can, it's kind of like with uh, JJ. You can make Zanhu work. You can make Kyoshin work. I feel like with the Rochi, you can kind of make like, Shin Bobork. You can make uh, the other tries. Do you think Orochi is being picked because he's so much fun? Because I saw in the beginning um, when you guys there's... started scrimming and then there was like discussion, do we really play Orochi? And then the answer of the time was, yeah, but he's so fun, I want to play him. I mean, that's just Tetsuo, because Tetsuo... Uh, was it just... I don't know, I, saw, I heard Ted say it. But was he the only one? I mean... Uh, he's the only one I won't that, believe uh, in Chiro. Yeah, I mean, Tetsuo is the only one that has this thing of like... Oh, I want to play because it's fun, not because it's good. Um, yeah, but Asano is playing it. Who else? I mean, they're playing it because it's good. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, 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 I'm not saying. To it's be bad. honest, I'm not saying it's a it's a weird pick or anything. He's just saying... easy to pick up. He's easy to make work, and he's very good value as a character. So, 
I can see why he's being picked. But if you really wanted to, and you had um, much more, like a much better time on a different character that wasn't Yorm, then you could probably make it work. And I think if we had to see a hero dropped out uh, out of gotcha. the form, or Simba. yeah, it would be Jar Jar or Simba, whatever, whoever takes that place. I mean, Shiro or and Ryder are just better. Yeah, but like I feel like Simba and Jar Jar right now are on the same spot. Maybe Jar Jar has a little bit better supportive fits, but Simba has like the, the ability to stop Chiro a little bit. Like yeah. not completely countering, but you know. Yeah. Because I feel like right now Jar Jar is basically being counterpicked by Chiro. Just like Shag and Chivichus, but Shag can do insane amount of also, damage. Um, since Simba doesn't have a. Uh... Like his guard changes on his dodge. Uh, Orochi has decent offense against him. Yeah, but we're talking about team fights. We're talking about once. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's about it for the two characters, to be honest. Um... Any? All right, then let's wrap the characters up there. Okay, strategy wise, did anything really change? Uh... Because I don't think so. Uh, I'm just watching oh. it still. Mm. All about the defender right now. Yeah, it's still the same. And I think people got a little braver in general trying to stall point generation, even if they know, oh, we can't back cap, but we're going to go on that point now and then just be confident enough to say, oh, I can leave and not feed Defender Renown, but we stalled point generation. That's happening more. Well, not every time it's effective. Put it like that, put it like that. but I think people are trying that more, but uh, otherwise I don't think much changed strategy-wise. No, not at all. Uh, we'll see what comes with uh, the minion changes in uh, TG. But for this Dom series, uh, nothing really changed now. Like you said, people just got a bit braver. Uh, and characters are actually a bit easier to stall with. Current meta characters are all good stallers. Plus minus Jar Jar, I guess. Uh, who was a bit harder time. But Orochi, really good stoller. You have just a much better chance from default to uh, stall properly. But yeah, a meta, I mean, uh, strategy didn't change at all. We're so waiting for... Uh, talk about. I mean, it's still more about the team fights, right? Yeah. Just new heroes came in and not much else that's been done. Um, I guess other things to talk about is teams in the current Dumb teams. series. Oh. You don't want to speculate whether the mid-season patch is going to do anything? Oh, mid-season patch. I mean, it's gonna be hang on after thing open. Huh? Anything it's about the... what though? October twenty-first is title update two. That is after the second qualifier. The third qualifier is on the thirtieth, so one week after the title update hit. So, do we expect any changes from this testing round to come in in three weeks? I don't. Not at all. I hope not. I mean, I. I mean, yeah, it's a big discussion in every game. Do you want like in a like mid-season of a competitive? I don't know. Is it a series of tournament? I mean, whatever a league or whatever. You want to change meta like right in the middle. Obviously, you don't. But you think they're gonna try and get it in early? You say you do. You hope not. But he hopes not. There. I um think they won't. First of all, because of the tournament thing, and second, because I don't think it's. Like it's too soon. Uh, I feel like there is it's changes must be done. Yeah, it's it's like they released the first uh, week, and it was like half baked, and then they changed it, and it was almost good, but not there. And now they're very close. It's just a few number changes, and they're good. So you don't want to see this change at all. You want uh, to see another TG iteration, actually flesh it out properly. I don't think there's even need for that to be. I would like one, yes. But uh, they've already done two, technically. It was one, but, you know, uh, split in two parts. And um, to be honest, uh, all they need to do is change a few numbers. Like, uh, for example, like we talked about in the um, tournament, TG tournament winners interview, we said that we want Defender Renown to stay, just not be 30-35 like a 10 defender right now, something to stop people from just feeding into a point forever without being punished. 
Yeah, understandable. Oh, and shit. make point cap a little bit faster because Harbor is unplayable if you get capped. Yeah, like uh, obviously what we have now is not good, but uh, being on Harbor and just not being able to cap a point is also not okay. So like, yeah, uh, maybe no, make I it. it. I get it. I get it. It was just I was just curious what yeah, you yeah. guys expect in that regard, because I don't know they keep pushing the changes out faster than I expect all the time now. I don't know, maybe we see that. I have no idea. So, but obviously, because it's during the qualifier series. Yeah, I mean, might not we'll be see. ideal there. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Now we can talk teams. Um, so, so you guys can go ahead. Who's, uh, all right. Let's start off with you, I guess. So, because that's the actual big scene. So, what's happening right now in EU? Uh, NEM is. We'll talk about, uh, I know a bit about each team, mostly about them. So uh, what's happening with them? Uh, they're struggling, to say the least. Um, Barra and Silencer don't really play the game. Uh, Clutch is there struggling. Uh, Tetz is kind of just there for the journey. He's playing every day. Them two are playing every day, but uh, the other ones are on and off. Uh, currently... Who'd you say is the second best team, Antonio? RMG. RMG, right. How close do you think they are to them? Or um, better? Or... Is, RMG is... Uh, Dero's team. So yeah, Dero, no, just... Harmony... And... Yeah, Eternity and... Libya. Kemeku. So... Yeah, yeah, Kemeku. It's nat Kemeku? Nature's team ah, with Kemeku instead of Nature. Yeah. So, um, how close do you think they are to them? Or far? Or... Right now? Yeah. Since Barak isn't, I don't see, I didn't see Barak play for like two weeks now, three weeks. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like, uh, I feel like uh, RMG might be, might be able to take the spot. I mean, I think so as well. Uh, minor or major uh, personal bias, Barak is trash right now. <laughs> um, I mean, we are talking like, I, I feel like Barak has still the mentality of like, I have option selects so I can just don't give a fuck about playing the game. I still have like options to counter the fact that I have to react. I mean, and... we're not going to get into that because that's a, a whole I mean, different beast. But... Plus he needs to learn a new character. So yeah, uh... training must be made just like Silencer. So that's that. Silencer hugs on Demon Ball. <laughs> uh... Unlucky. I mean, I mean, you can do it, but you need to do it instantly. You can't wait the entire animation and then uh, try to hug. Don't mind. What is that? Uh... Bloody... Yes. Um, Who are these two playing at the moment? Which character? Uh, Silence on Shigonchi and uh, Barak on Ryder. Barak is the Ryder, okay. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Is Clutch stuck on the Kyoshin? No. Um, okay. Is it just because oh, yes. I want to win? They, on every, they have an argument. Uh, they have an they argument. Have an argument. Okay. Uh, uh, Clutch wants to play Kyoshin, and I think he can play Kyoshin. I think it's a viable pick. Problem is, Barak and Silencer are too bad for him to play Kyoshin. He needs to play Jar Jar, or Simba, preferably Jar Jar, because he's a good Jar Jar, and carry with that character. It's much harder to carry with Zanhu. Uh, no, Zanhu, yeah. Kyoto. I mean, he did say he wants to play Kyoshin for Dom series. Yeah, yeah. Like, so... I, if his team played, I'd be all for it. I mean, but yeah, I yeah, think I agree. he should play the better character just because his team is shit. Interesting. Yeah, I thought it was just one of his usual stunts. Oh, I need a, a win on every hero. I mean, he already has a win, on every, win on every hero. That was why I thought he did it. No, I mean, but he generally enjoys hero. Really okay, fair enough, fair enough. I didn't think the character was good enough. Yeah, well, we, didn't, I, we didn't think so either. Fucking scary. Yeah, we didn't think so either, but we saw it. I underestimated the fact that people can't react to Kyoshi mix-up. Yeah, like... Uh... Okay. It's it's reactable. It's like Griffin mix up. It's reactable. It's just that I only know two people who can do it consistently or like consistently enough, and that's. I you think it's a lack of me. practice against yeah. Yoshi. Yes, definitely. So yeah. once he's been played for, let's say, uh, no, I don't know no, the no, first no, two no. qualifiers. Afterwards, not at all. He'd be figured out. I think uh... it's a lack of practice because not be, not like gameplay. So like in the moment, like a scrim or a thing. People just don't want to practice against the character on their own. It's like practicing ganks. Why don't they just go and practice against Kyoshin mix-up? They would get better. Why is Antonio 
and me the only ones who can consistently react to the mix up when it's like I, it's not oh, like I, I, I think you guys underestimate people. No, 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 people. no, 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 hang, let me, let me, let me say something. Overestim- you two are playing a shit ton. You two put in the work. This yeah. is not something a lot of players do in this game. We're going to get to NA in a second. <laughs> uh, you guys can, oh, I, I can figure this out. I can just practice. But I don't think everyone's willing to do that. But They're let's... just coasting along, you know that? I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, praising but... you guys now, right? Yeah, I mean, I yeah, appreciate but... it, of yeah. course. I'm very I mean, I feel like I feel like if you don't have the will to practice, you shouldn't even be playing comp in the first yeah, place. But so you... taking the uh, comp players, comp top three teams, NEM, RMG, and maybe our collectors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, okay, those are usually the three best teams. Um, in NEM, uh, we don't talk about Clutch because he plays enough, but Silencer can obviously react to it if he practice. Does he practice? No. Barra, maybe. Um, we go RMG. Who has good... Uh, can Echo has good reactions to RMG? Can you react to it? No. Why? No practice. Uh, I don't have, like... I can react to it consistently. I don't have the best reactions. I don't have 120. I don't have 130. I don't have 140. I have 150 to 160. Oh, you poor fella. Yeah, poor fella. <laughs> I feel for you. Yeah. Sorry guys, sucking my own dick here with the man. Yeah, no, with, you, no, you're the script for that, so with, uh, you don't even have that. Actually. With the 600 MS reactions. You double but, click. Yeah, I'm saying that you don't need me or Antonio level of practice of like playing the game 10 hours a day. You can just practice a bit. It's like practicing a gank. You do it once every two, three days and... Sure, but you need to... Um, if you focus your practice and Kyoshin is just one player that plays it, and you need to practice against that. It is, I don't know, somewhat of a waste of time if you could practice something else. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Give you more benefit. So I understand if people just want to be more effective with their practice time. But yeah, like you said, they could figure this out. And if Clutch really sticks with it, I think people will mm. put in the time. I mean, I mean, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if people feel inspired and decide to uh, also play that character. I mean, otherwise, yeah. it's just a, a matter of are they happy with being second? Are they happy with being third? Or do they want to push towards the top? Pussies, man. Never happy unless for first and not even happy when first. There we go. We have a fourth sure. now. All right. Let's go back to teams. I mean, yeah, Clutch brings something to the table there in Kirsten. Unexpected for many, I guess. Um. All right. So um, we talked about them. RMG, they... It's a new team, technically. Uh, they made the switch. Nature's out. Nature is on L Collectors now. Um, and they switched Nature out for Liebe Asano, aka Kemeku. Um, so that's the team now for powerful Russians. Dero, Obu, Kemeku, and Eternity. Is it Obu? No. I don't even remember. I don't know. I can't keep up with name changes. They're too oh, many. Yeah, Darryl, did you name Daryl? It's yeah, Harmony, I did. Man. Oh, Harmony, right? I don't fucking care. Like, I mean, they're Russians, yeah. so they're basically the same person playing from the uh, from four different pieces. Maybe true. Um, they are. I. It's like, I don't know what to say about them. They're not like. Did I don't know? It's like there's nothing happening they, with them. They're just playing the game. Yeah. Kinda they just... don't love to interact with like, uh, with the community. They just play with each other, and sometimes they scream against the uh, top U teams. Yeah, uh, that's about it. I mean, they don't really do anything crazy. Uh, they're not bad. They're not destroying the comp scene. Um, like they have the potential. Yeah, they're kind of just vibing. And uh, uh, then we have the cataclysmic failure that is L Collectors. Yeah, I'm curious about that one. Now. Um, so we have really we, because I, I oh, never, can never tell with Legion. Active is he, member anymore, no. He's no longer an active player, so we and have our first scrim session with Autumn went really good against RMG. So we, we have uh, we have one Tot Mind, we have one Set Mix, we have one Nature, and we have one I forgot Bonaparte. who the other guy is Bonaparte, Bonaparte. right? Sorry, Bonaparte. Oh, okay. Um, Legion is now uh, manager of the team. Oh, I thought mascot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's more mascot than manager, but he says he's manager, so we let him be. 
Uh, he's the script organizer and uh, whatever else. Um, so he's still fifth man. All right. All right. Yeah, he's fifth wheel, more like. <laughs> but happens, I guess. He's the meta supporter. Yeah, he's a philosopher of the team. He's slightly um, less than an emergency sub. Yeah. <laughs> if they need an emergency sub and nobody's available, maybe he he's, will the, get he, he's the emergency sub. Him. He's the emergency sub to the emergency sub to the sub. So yeah, that's a uh, current situation. Uh, skill level is, uh, as name implies, L collectors. Um, don't mind right now. Poor guy, him in France. Trying to carry the team, you just can't. Uh, condolences, obviously. <clears throat> um, Toaster cannot do so much on Shugoki. He's already the best chunker in the game. Uh, but still can't carry. It's just like impossible. I don't know how you can carry one in eight set mix. But yeah, KDA bugs happens, happens. Uh, you have France. What are you guys characters? Uh, France is a Jar Jar. Uh, yes. Totemine is a Shonker. Uh, Set Mix is a Orochi, and uh, Nature is a Rider. Okay. Set Mix on Orochi. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's a beautiful pick. Yes. I thought he'd pick Raiden. I, well, I he did, know. but then we got Nature. Yeah, for the sake of the team, I, I think he should have stayed on Raider. I mean, no, no. I don't know. Well, I haven't even seen them in action yet, to be honest. We'll have to see. Uh, wait, you didn't? I didn't. We did the big boom. The on big RMG. boom what? The, on yeah, RMG. but... Yeah, yeah on but RMG. What about them? Underage, I might as well. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, mean uh, what about them? Minimizers aren't in the equation, okay. Antonio. Oh, uh, sorry. Minimizers. Just, uh, you could... Just minimizers don't lose. Just another level? Yeah, but... um. Jar Jar is JJ and Simba is Zanhu. Yes. So we apologize for the solipsisms. They're ingrained engraved into our brains. Um there's three main teams. There's not a Russian team. You wanna, you wanna talk about I mean, can I say again? Is what? anyone keeping up with all the Russian teams and Nam Gloria and So there's Nam Gloria, there's RMG. Helvegen. And then there's Helvegen, but Helvegen is... They are not Helvegen anymore, they are... In... Oh yeah, they're ATC or something? What yes. the fuck is the name? Yeah, uh, uh, something with Yachi. Yeah. HIV, whatever. Um, I don't really know, did they qualify? Did they do anything? Uh, yeah, they played, didn't they? Nam Gloria was fourth qualifier? Not, not Nam right? Gloria, not Nam Gloria. No, Helvegen. Helvegen kids. Like... They qualified, I think. Yeah, they were fourth yep. place. You show not week three or so? Oh, sorry, at the end, sorry, remember, yeah. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I remember Nova losing to Alvegan, so... I see, um... I mean, I, I'm actually surprised I even remember that they qualified. I didn't I didn't even remember them. Yeah, whatever, but those are the three Russian teams, and then there's our collectors and them. Any other team is a kind of throwaway team, any year. Uh, in order, teams from... Uh, Worst to best is Helvegans, uh, Nam Gloria, uh, L Collectors, RMG and Nem or Nem and RMG. We're not quite sure. Uh, we will see tomorrow. Oh, Jesus, huh? You expect that, all right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow we will have the opportunity to actually see if uh, RMG has the potential to overclass Nemesis. And um. What do we have about NA, Rippy? Oh, uh, well, NA is kind of in a weird spot right now because no other team are scrimming. Like, my team, as an example, only scrim one time this season. So, like, really, we're, like, all out of practice. But the four teams that we're almost sure to see in in the majors, like, there's almost no other team that can make it to the major. It is PKS, um, Reading Comprehension, Guidance Gaming, Guidance Gaming, and um, X Team. I don't know what their name is. Um, yeah, uh, just, racist faction. Uh, yeah, what, what, whatever. Um, yeah. Like, um. So, so overall, it's... NA is uh NA for Honor comp scene is now a uh, Final Fantasy comp team. Uh, yeah, basically they're uh, taking away my joke. Yes, I am. They're, 
because <laughs> I was eager to make it. Final Fantasy, or I think they're picking up newer right now. So. Oh right, all right. Well, basically, so they. I, I don't know. If it's gonna be like they're they're sure to come back for big tournaments and like majors and like qualifiers. We're gonna see them there, but right now, I think the only team that really play is X Team. So. Um, yeah. I, um, I'm pretty sure they play the game every day and. That's pretty much the only team that plays right now. So, and they practice against you as well. So You said there's, what, four teams, right? I was about to ask that. They're doing that? They're screaming EU? Yeah, X team. I think they are, yeah. And how are they doing against EU? I don't know. You need to ask Razor. I mean, they lost in TG tournament to the collectors. Right? I mean, almost... yeah, we're talking about NA no, no, and EU. No, 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 but here's the thing. They won they, our match. They yeah. won that. They won that, but Legion threw. So, <laughs> that's right. I think if that variable was there and if Legion was actually nature, I th think they uh, it might have been a bit different. I mean, yeah, we're still talking about the difference between you and NA on skill level, and okay. we all know yeah, that. There's, there's, so, there's no question if you had to than put them in order from worst to best, the NA teams, what would it look like? Okay. So maybe Blitz can help me out on that, because again, like not much scrim happened. No, I don't care to hear about his opinion. He's a one gun player, please. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the two first team would most likely be either TTS or Hex team. Again, we haven't scrim them, so it's really hard to put them somewhere. And Let's then see. have probably your reading comprehension guidance last. Kind guidance last. last. I I don't know. I I don't want to trash talk anyone. Wait, but... that's from wait, that's from worst to best. That's what I asked. Oh, from... From worst, oh, from worst to best. to best. Okay, so I think Not a is probably player. the worst team right now. Correct. Man, it, it hurts to say, but Score hasn't been playing the game. I mean, none of them now have. They have a new player. And... <laughs> Wait, they have Wait, a new who's player. New? Who's new? Uh, Will. Uh, G the fuck oh, G. Will. G the fuck G. Wait, who's who? who? Chinese Will. Oh, uh, Wait, Chinese yeah. Will. Okay, yeah, man. Not, not GG. Okay, no Chinese Will is fucking fox, dude. Like that guy. That yeah. is nuts. Oh, and isn't the guy that has like the 360 hertz monitor and that kind of shit? I don't know what's with him, but he's decent. I remember playing against him in the Juicy tournaments. He was he wasn't the best. I, don't know why. I mean, I think for any standards, he's very, very, very okay. Very. Good. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, then. yeah. I agree. Um, and uh, wow, guidance gaming last. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we'll, we'll see what's up with that, but I am all. Like, old... Plucky's needs to learn a new character. They have a new player. No. Have, oh, yeah. He does. He's a forward one trick. Forward one trick. Yeah, yeah. he was a forward one trick. And he was using a lot of option selects as well. So he has like two major things that. Oh, oh. he's like the Barack of NA. Okay. Yeah, he's actually NA bar. Unlucky. <laughs> All right. So, well, yeah, no trash talk against anyone, but I feel like that team really was. So All right. right. Of, uh, Look at you. Sure. No trash talk. Whatever, man. I'm not trash talking people. Yeah, shut up, nice guy. <laughs> it happens, man. I'm here to do the trash talking. Uh, so, uh, Kindness Gaming is the big shit. They suck. Yeah. Uh, team died after Baldrat and Rowett left. Um, then I would put Reading Comprehension. Which I don't know who that team is and who's on that team. Okay, so you know who, gang? The clowns? Who? Clowns? The clowns, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know the clowns. Yeah, it's basically half of them because. Oh, Coach it's. Uh, and Sky left. Oh, yeah. And they picked up Baynor and Willem. Those guys are. Will. I mean, yeah, I don't know about the Willem guy, but. Uh, what's the what is it? Who is it? It's Mampa. M Mambino and Trillion. And Trillion, right? Those guys, fuck! I know they were like second best team before. Yeah, um, they're, they're not bad players. Uh, and I don't know about Will guy and Bane is okay from what I've seen. They're, 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 all right. they're not the best players, but they're not they're not bad, at least to any standards, like you say. I see. And uh, then there's your team, and your team is what? Uh, TTS. So it's either us or Hex team. Yeah, but and, like, your players, you and three who? Uh, it's me, Bucko, um, Console, and Scorpion. I see. GG Scorpion, my homie. Uh, good luck to you guys. And uh, then you have Racist Faction, which is... It's Egg, um, Mo, Raven, and a guy called Factor. I don't know who that right. is. Oh my Wait, god, what? Raven? Yeah, really? we don't know who yeah, it is. Raven's dead. Big question.
<laughs> All right, guys. Um, I, I don't know. Don't know how they're playing, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe yeah. playing a lot. So crazy. Of that team. The crazy console talent uh, that oh. NA got. Um, I mean, you're joking about that, but a lot of That's spaghetti. I'm, I'm not. I'm not joking. NA it is crazy. Console, right? No, no, yeah, it is. Is it Blitz? Hmm? Isn't the new guy or not new guy, but like the no name guy on your team console talent? No, he has like 300 reps. He's, he's spaghetti. I'm not sure if it came from NA or not. I see. From console, or you mean? Xbox, yeah. I'm not sure. Hmm, uh, comedy. Or right. Raven. Oh. Raven, yeah. Raven's the carry there, so. I hope he makes more tournaments. Yeah. Oh, I want to see that. Oh my god. So good luck uh, to playing with the Fetish Master. Uh, he has many names nowadays. He's a cat boy, he's uh, everything. Age. Yeah, he's crazy. He's nuts. He needs to find himself. Yeah, he's he's Go working ahead. towards it. It's alright. Um. So that's NA. And yeah. when uh, do you think NA is gonna wake up? Because I expect uh, like the first one, one are barely gonna have any participants. One week. Gonna, which is gonna look bad, I think. But eventually, like by the uh, third, the latest, people are gonna wake up because they think, oh, I can still qualify somehow. I, I just feel like think, the top four teams right now knows they're going to qualify no matter if they practice or not because there's not real competition aside from the four best teams, you know, in any right now. And so then they're just going to start practicing between the qualifiers and the majors, I would say. Okay, so unless someone shows up unexpectedly yeah, in the like, first qualifier, they're just going to write it out and then say, oh, you're going to win this one, we're going to win that one. So we have yeah. the least amount of work. Yeah, right now I don't see any team that could replace those four teams in the majors, so... Yeah, I mean, like I said, unexpected. So you expect to qualify... I don't know, dude, Vir uh, Virtue, round, right? Virtue qualified to the last major, I don't know. They could, uh, <laughs> Shut up, They could take it, they could take it, I don't know. This is NA memes. I'm too EU to understand. <laughs> oh. Well, there was a bit of drama about this while... Oh, no, not an major right again. A DQ'd and a... All right. The fifth best team basically got to the majors, so it was a I bit see. of drama in NA. Well, that. we're waiting for the comeback of uh, Natron, like Sasuke, right? Karma, and fourth. I, I don't I think, think you ever see any of them, right? Team. I think it was. Nathan I Sasuke, I don't think you'll ever Red see Karma. I want to see it though. Why? Why? I mean, I want to see it. I didn't say that it will happen. I just said I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be entertaining. They were well the most entertaining. Uh, team around but um uh, yeah so eu has five teams and it has four very cool comp scene yeah very alive um with the current way i mean there was already a skill gap between N A and eu but now that they don't even play the game then i don't know it's like whole different plane of existence is that a reason why they don't play anymore uh, uh, they're playing I mean, Final you guys Fantasy. Don't take breaks, right? Between stage, I assume you're always playing the game. I mean, right? depends on like, people. Most of but... the time, any any time a major is over, you see all the big teams in a not playing the game for a couple of weeks. That's like, uh... now it's right now and at this time it's like even bigger breaks than it used to. They're lacking of uh, dedication. I Does uh, NA a... have any meme teams? Oh no. What do you mean by meme? Okay, let's yeah. let's talk about <laughs> EU meme teams. So, for example, right. in EU, I think we have oh. two or three e meme teams. Number one, <laughs> number one meme team, number one digital athletes are the Kekla. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, the best. Uh, so we're talking about teams of uh, players scrubbed up uh, from... I mean, yeah, it's like they're really, 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 really bad, but like there isn't anyone better, so they're technically like fifth, sixth, or seventh. See, this is Normie's way of trying to motivate players. Come on, participate. Yes, please. <laughs> well, Stop being bad. Well, I guess you could consider um, what are they called? Bunger and uh, Virtue, like kind of meme teams. Like, no one really is really scared of them, but they're still like technically fifth and sixth best teams. So, I guess would be considered meme teams. I, I mean, those teams that we call BIM are supposed to be 6th, 7th best team in NEO, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, on paper, compare them to the rest of the community, they're really good. But then you put them against the next best team after them, and they get 
1000 to 0 at Legion style. No, 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 no that's 1078. Right? That leagues, oh, yeah. especially in esports, are very top heavy, right? You have like one or two teams that really stand out, no matter the game. Yeah. And then you have like considerably worse players, but still quite good players, because otherwise you wouldn't be in that level. Yeah. But I yeah, guess. it's. I don't know. It always sounds kind of condescending, right? Yeah, I mean, but it these is... players also put in a lot of hours. They also practice. It's just, I mean, eventually someone will stand out, will get picked up by another team. I mean, that's how it goes, right? I yeah, mean, especially in EU. Yeah. In EU, so I don't know if there's three teams, but I know there's two meme teams. It's just Ice and the Kekla. And there is also a team of Italians that join every oh, every yes. every time. I okay, we don't talk about them though. Okay, they're not worthy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Well. Man, what Italian about, community, uh, what, what the about fuck? The Spanish team. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot yeah. the uh Catalan team. Oh yeah, the yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the the what? The emblem guys. Catalan guys, right? Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Did By we the need... way, I wanna wait, hang on, let's just give them a proper shot because they have been <laughs> participating in these tournaments for <laughs> years now. Not really improving a little bit at least, but they've been participating each time. And I think it's I don't know yeah. what mentioned, but yeah. Even you guys recognize them. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, they're recognized, making a name for themselves, yes. But, I think uh, it's cool that they're still sticking to it. I mean, yeah, it's definitely cool. I mean, to be honest, if they... I, I'm not saying that they should put in... like Obviously, they should put in more time, but if they got more involved in it, so like joining for glory, just trying to like set up scrims properly, then they'd actually probably improve. But then again, you have case of Just Ice team where they've been at it for how long now? Too long, and I got bread. They're still, <laughs> they're still bots. Like team, team statue. I mean, it's just a matter of uh, oh. how someone can improve and if he wants to improve. I feel it's... like just as improved compared to before. I like mean, he can, yeah, he can do it's uh, it's team uh, it... team AFK yeah. right now. Uh, yeah, AFK and team fights, but uh, uh, it's also player mentality. There are a bunch of players who think they're the they're the shit and they 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 should their team should improve and not them right uh, i mean i'm it's just hinting, as I'm, who, are, who are you specifically talking about i don't know <laughs> who am i talking about Mr. <laughs> i don't know tell me. <laughs> i don't know mm. I, I would know <laughs> didn't even get the reference though. yeah it's a crazy <laughs> reference there's two players like that uh one of them doesn't oh. play for the team anymore and the other one is uh too cool for school so No. Well, well, you're calling me stupid. Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. So, anything else? Do we wrap things up? Um. So we talked reworks. We talked mm -hmm. teams. We talked strategies, which nothing new. We talked meta. I think now is the time for some questions. If anybody has any, yeah. Let's see. I have a question. What is it, Totwind? Why do you think RMG tops non Legion L collectors? Uh, uh, you're, oh my you God. still have set mix, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's... we removed him from Raider and put him on a new character. That doesn't prove anything. But it, 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 well, it doesn't disprove anything either. Well, you, you also removed him from a different character it, and put him on, Ra on Warlord. And what was he on Warlord? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the issue with set mix is the fact that like it needs time yeah. to actually improve on a character yeah. because he doesn't play the game. He plays the game only when there is like forces scrims or rarely, really rarely chooses at once. So the guy needs to understand how to play Chiro. He needs to like improve his mechanics because the character is okay, it's easy and everything. Like it's a dodge light, dodge light, and top heavy sometimes. I told but... him he has confirmed ch uh, chain light after heavy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you're making progress. I, you learned already. Like, oh you my, uh, you my friend, already. Like, like, do you do you understand so my do you understand what I'm saying? Like the guy, the guy needs to play the game before. You got the basic move set now. Rest will come soon. Yeah, yeah soon. When, when when are you gonna scream? Question mark. Soon, team. <laughs> As I said, we already scrimmed. Even with him only knowing basic move set, we won eight two against RMG. Yeah, and you need to play against Nemesis now. Okay, and you then know, you have you to know, play again. And then... Let me, let me, where? no, let me answer, let me answer, let me answer. Okay, so you yeah. had asked the question, why I think RMG top cell collectors. Yes. Okay, now <laughs> we bring the magic word. Are you ready? 
Consistency. Explosion. Okay, look at this. You once you consistently beat RMG, you will mm. stop RMG. Okay, when is consistent? Four scrim sessions in a row? Perhaps. Even three. Even three. Yeah, three. Wait, Depends okay, on how okay. hard. Depending, yeah, depending on how hard you stomp or win or uh, even like tie. Depends. If you, even if you tie and then win the other three, uh, two or three scrims, you you basically out, outclass them. So, okay, yeah. so this time 8-2. I will DM you the next two sessions, Normie, and then you will reconsider your statement. Yes, I will. I promise. Okay. Okay, I mean, I feel like I feel like it's game. not really. I, will, I look, feel like look, look, look. I will make a Twitter post, okay? Oh. Apologizing oh, to powerful. uh, I'm the thought mind, okay? <laughs> yes, it's insane, dude. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, but uh, very good. I think you should focus on uh, DDoSing Barak. Okay, okay. Or assassinating <laughs> silencer. Oh, oh. second, yes. It's kind of, it's kind of hard. Uh... Just get Legion. Gonna... Just pay him like. Two, two pouches of mushrooms to Boom. snap fucking Sanser's <laughs> neck. <laughs> oh, damn, you'd probably do it. He'd probably do it, dude. Like what? I mean, for two, two, two full shrooms, maybe. I mean, he'd 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 be he'd getting shrooms and getting rid of the competition. It's like easy wins. Well, it's all drug talk and death threats. And <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, I was up like the topic has shifted off. It's, it's just, uh, you know, there's politics and stuff comes with politics. It's for honor politics. Yeah. Mm. For honor politics if, includes uh, stabbing the opposition. Yes, of course. Uh, assassinations and... Uh, I hope everyone understands that this is just some banter. Yes, obviously. Um, We're serious. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to. Me and Norm, you see me me and, laughing. I mean, me and Norm are joking. I don't know about Totman. Yeah, Totman. He's mine, the competitive uh, player here. I am Vinted. never making any jokes. Me there. and uh, me and Antonio okay, are. Me and Antonio yeah, are, are under range. We don't yeah. play. We don't compete. We are next level. Like uh, once we we turn it in, the the game is over. Like, yeah, GG's. to be honest, the game is probably gonna be over. But hey, look at I our huge egos. You guys. Antonio, you know what? You and me, 2v4, mm -hmm. entire comp scene. Yeah, I agree. What, uh, me on A, you on C, GG's. GG's, dude. Oh my god. All right. Well, this is oh my god. not what no. we need right now. So okay, let's, make it a, let's make it a 2v5. Yeah. Right, let's uh, wrap up the stream before we get taken over by animals of the forest. What What are you doing? Mm, I wonder. Um, what are you saying? You want to wrap it up or should I? Uh, you go ahead. Go, no, <laughs> normally, normally okay, so I first of all, uh, I didn't expect so many people to show up. So first of all, thanks to all of you. Uh, like half the comp scene is here. Half the NA comp scene. Yeah, it's like four people. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, seriously, yeah. thanks for all the input. Um, we're going to put this one on YouTube, I think. Uh -oh. Or the board is staying here. I actually don't know how this has been handled. But yeah, thanks for everyone. Participating, viewing, watching, listening. Fun with all that. Yep. Oh, gonna wrap things up. Cheers, lads. G -do bye bye. G -do goodbye. G -do Congratulations, Minted. Your death threat is. Shut recorded. up, Totman. Uh, to what? <laughs> Totman. Totman. <laughs> Totman.